Hi there, Terry Nguyen, coordinator of the 2017 North American Taiko Conference. I hope you are as excited as I am that registration for the 2017 NATC is launching very soon. I've put together a tutorial video on how to register and I hope that will help you in planning your trip to join us in San Diego this August. Keep watching! If you renewed your membership or became a new member of the Tyco Community Alliance before December 10, 2016, you are granted one week of special early access to register for the 2017 North American Tyco Conference before we open up to the general public on March 22. As a current TCA member, you should have received an invitational email from the NATC at tycocommunityalliance.org email address, which contains a special link to access our registration portal. So clicking on this link will direct us to the NATC registration portal, and you'll notice that your early access code has already been generated in this field. If for some reason this code is blank, it's also available in the invitation email, and you can simply copy and paste that into the field. We are testing this as a demonstration today, so I'm going to indicate that today is March 14th, 2017, and we'll proceed with how to register for NATC. You'll see a prompt asking if you are registering on behalf of somebody else, and if you are an adult 18 years of age or older and are registering for youth participants who are under the age of 17, um, it's important to put your personal information and then proceed to register for the youth participant. Um, so if they are a minor, there are a few other questions that you'll have to consider in registering for youth participants. But since I'm registering for myself for this demonstration, I'm going to click no that I'm not registering on behalf of somebody else. And yes, I am well over 18 years of age. The participant name fields will have already been generated from that link in the email and just make sure that the spelling is correct because this is what will appear on your name tag and other conference registration materials. If for some reason you have participated in previous conferences or other TCA activities under another name or an alias, please be sure to indicate that here so that we can update our database accordingly. Um, you'll be asked for a primary typo group affiliation and you should note that only one group name will be printed on your name tag. So if you're like me and you belong to multiple groups and organizations, it's best to select your primary affiliation or whichever organization that you wish to be representing at the NATC. Um, if you simply can't choose, it's okay to leave this field blank. You would also leave it blank if you are a solo artist or an individual. I'm going to indicate my home Tyco group Tyco mix for registration purposes. If you were unable to locate your group or affiliation in the above drop down menu, please just fill out this field and we will make sure to update the TCA database accordingly to include your organization. Moving along, the email address field will already be populated from that link that you received. So it's important that you list an email address that you check frequently because email is the main line of communication between TCA and NATC and yourself. So you should expect to be receiving many updates from us from now until the conference and make sure that you're giving us a real email address and not a junk address. Um, fill in your other information, I'm going to list my PO box for my Tyco group. Phone number, though not mandatory, it's probably best to list a cell phone or um, a phone number that you can have regular access to. I'm just going to put in a fictitious phone number for demonstration purposes because I don't want to list my real phone number. And then you'll see this prompt under here that says, are you a current TCA member? So obviously, if you are participating in um, this special registration window, then you are a TCA member. Um, if anybody signing up for the conference is not a TCA member, then you have uh, the option to join on site. It's an annual membership that is $50 for adults and 
$25 for students. Um, joining TCA has really special perks such as early access to conference registration and other discounts. So yes, I am a TCA member and we will proceed to the next page of registration. Um, this is page two of the registration form and I should note that if you need to make any adjustments to um, the information that you've provided thus far, it's very important that you do not click the back button on your browser because you might disrupt the order of things. So best to follow the prompts and do everything sequentially as you're being prompted to through the registration system. If for some reason you needed to go back and check on um, the previous page, say I want to check on the email address that I entered, um, I can either click um, this tab up here for contact info to navigate to that page or I can also click the back button. So we'll click contact info and I wanted to check on my email address and everything looks good to me. So we'll click next and return to the second page of registration. Um, this is registration type and there are five different types of registration that are available this um, year. And most people will be coming as a participant and we have other tiers such as an observer or a vendor or a chaperone or a Tycho Jam performer. And if you are a Tycho Jam performer, um, you will be receiving a separate email which contains uh, more detailed instructions on how uh, you'll be registering for the conference and how things will be working around the uh, rehearsal schedule. But for demonstration purposes, and because most people will be registering as a participant, um, this is how things will work to register as a participant. So there are two types of participant registrations. Um, one is a standard track and the other is a mini intensive track. And there are prerequisites to mini intensives. So if you haven't attended an NATC in the past and, and if you do not have at least two years of Tycho experience, please do not register for a mini intensive. Um, our system will detect that and kick you back to standard registration and you might not um, be able to select the workshops that you want. And on the note of standard registration and workshop selections, this year we are going back to a, a system that will ask you to rank your top three choices for playing workshops and You'll do that for each of the five workshop sessions, and then you will receive your workshop assignments as we come closer to the conference date. So as a regular participant um, under the standard selection, everybody will be getting three workshop assignments and a discussion session, but we're asking you to rank for all five workshop sessions. So if you want to take a look at the workshop offerings per session, um, you'll click on this link right here and it'll redirect you to this page where you can select uh, different organizations of workshops. So there's session one, there's session two, three, four, or five. And in selecting for workshop session one, we'll be looking at the available offerings. So if you click on one of these workshops, it'll take you to another page that will show the workshop leader's bio as well as the workshop description. You know, so once you've read this, you can return to the workshop list and read the next workshop offering, um, see the instructor's bio as well, and just learn more about what's being offered during the conference. So we'll go back to the registration form and rank our choices. So it's important that you list a variety because if you are compelled to choose the same workshop for all three choices, our system will generate preferences for you and then you might not be happy about that. So very important to pick three different workshops that you um, are interested in.
and discussion choice, there are two, so you'll just indicate one or the other. And we'll move along to do the same for session two workshop selection. So we'll look at the session two workshop grouping. And again, clicking on the names of the workshops will give you further information about the workshop description and also the instructor's biography. Um, we'll return to the workshop list, making sure that we're in session two selection and um, taking a look at other workshops that are being offered in session two. So you'll see workshop description and the instructor's bio as well as um, skill level for workshop participants. So going back to um, my workshop selections, I'm going to indicate my choices for session two. You'll continue doing this for the remainder um, sessions three through five. So just a reminder that you can take a look at all the various offerings. You know, there's sessions one, two, three, four, five, and also the intensive descriptions listed in this menu. So just to move along the process, I'm going to pick um, workshops randomly so that we can access the next page of registration. So once we have our workshop preferences indicated, we will click on the next button to proceed to um, this page, which will ask you if you would like to pre-purchase any Tyco Conference t-shirts. They are being sold for $15 pre-sale and $20 on-site. Um, you don't have to make your purchase right now. You have an opportunity to order them until June 30th, but I do highly recommend um, just ordering your t-shirts now. The design is um, yet to be unveiled, but um, it's best to just get your order in, and you can order as many t-shirts as you would like to add to your order. So I'm just going to order... Uh, one t-shirt for myself and I'll click next and you can also pre-purchase Tyco Jam tickets. It's important to note that we have um, two, two showings for the Tyco Jam concert this year, one on Saturday, August 12th at 8 p.m. and then also a matinee on August 13th, um, which is a Sunday. So best to purchase your tickets ahead of time because admission is um, general admission and we are giving Tyco Conference participants an advanced um, option to purchase their tickets before the tickets actually go on sale to the general public. So yes, I wish to purchase tickets. I'm going to add a ticket to my um, order Saturday. It's $25 per ticket and then I'm going to add an extra ticket because maybe my mom wants to go. So again, $25 per ticket. And I think two is enough for me, so we'll just move forward to page five of registration. And this is where um, you'll be asked if you would like to make any additional donations in support of the Tyco Conference. Um, I have to mention that the TCA is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and it's basically staffed by volunteers. And so we try to keep costs down um, that we're passing on to conference registration. So that means that we, we have a very small budget that we're working on um, to plan the conference. So if you are feeling particularly generous and would like to make any kind of donations to um, support the TCA and NATC, we would greatly appreciate that. Um, no pressure, of course, but the option is here um, if you want to add this to your registration. So we have different sponsorship levels and donation levels, and you can read more about the options on our sponsor page. Again, any amount helps, and we are grateful um, if 
you would consider it. So in registering, I'm going to say yes, I'd like to make an additional donation and I'll do $100. Um, you can do more or less. Again, all amounts are appreciated. And then you can also indicate how you would like your gift to the TCA to be recognized. So I'll just put my name. And then um, for tracking purposes, we have a bit of a competition going on just to see how um, the geographical regions um, that are represented from the TCA census are uh, receiving donations. So since I am native to Southern California, I'm going to put Southern California as my region and we'll proceed to page six of seven of registration. We're almost done. Um, this will ask if you have any additional notes or questions or comments for the TCA if you do. Um, feel free to put them in here and either um, I will field that or our concierge volunteers will be in touch with you shortly. Um, there are other communication preferences such as opting out of the TCA beat newsletters announcements or opting out of Tyco related announcements from the TCA partners. I highly recommend that you choose to keep um, communication with us through these means because as I said most of our contact, if not all, is being done through email. So it's best to um, keep receiving our announcements so that you can hear about things such as early registration for the conference. So we will um, move forward with page seven of seven with registration. And so this is where the payment is processed. And I have to be clear with everybody that all payments with the exceptions of donations are subjected to a transaction fee of 2.2% plus 30 cents. Um, this fee will be applied regardless of whether you're making a check payment or a credit card payment. So you'll see on this page is an explanation of fees and items that I chose to add on to my registration. So I have an amount of $390 that is subjected to that 2.2% plus 30 cents transaction fee. And then my additional donation of $100 is not subjected to a transaction fee. So the total of my transaction fees is $8.88, which is a lucky number. So you have the option of paying by um, check or credit card. If you elect to pay by check, you'll receive an email which will prompt you to mail um, your check to um, the TCA PO Box in San Jose. Um, check if you wanted to pay by credit card, then you'll receive um, various prompts and you can read as to how like that will be processed through PayPal. Uh, we ask that you do a final review of your purchase below before clicking submit. So you can see that we have a cancellation policy here and um, here is an itemized breakdown of how my purchases will appear. So I am registering as an early bird adult participant member of TCA, which is at $325. I chose to buy one t-shirt at $15 and then I'm buying two Tyco Jam tickets for the Saturday concert at $25 a piece. Um, I also tacked on a $100 donation to TCA and my membership fees, I mean, I mean I'm sorry, my transaction fees are $8.88, which totals $498.88. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to say that I will pay by check. And I'll click submit because everything checks out. And you will see this landing page, which verifies that your 
purchases have been processed. Um, what's next? You should be hearing us from us soon. Your registration confirmation will be sent via email and we'll be sending regular communications that include any scheduling or programming changes as we get closer to NATC. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the concierge at tycocommunityalliance.org email address. And we also ask that you fill out a permission and a waiver form, which there will be a link here for you to print when registration actually goes live. So best to have that filled out and, and bring it to um, conference registration or else we will have copies um, on site for you to fill out as well. So that's it on how to register and I hope that this was helpful and we look forward to seeing you in August at the North American Tycho Conference.